Welcome to the first lesson where we're going to dive right into After Effects. What I like to do with my courses is to show you one really cool trick that you can do rather easily to show you the power of the application we're learning. And then in the following lessons, we're going to back up, we're going to learn everything from scratch. But for now, what I want you to do is open up this project file called Write My Name. This would be in the project files folder of the downloads that you just downloaded. So just double click that and that will open up After Effects and this project that I've set up for you. Now in this lesson, while this opens up, I'm just gonna tell you, don't worry about anything. We're gonna go over all the menus, starting new compositions, everything in future lessons. Right now, I just want you to follow exactly what I'm doing. Just click where I'm clicking, click the buttons I'm pressing, and don't worry too much. When you open up After Effects, this is what it should look like. You'll have what's called the composition in the middle that has my name, Phil, and then you have your timeline down here with Phil's name and then name practice. And these are two different, basically, projects. Again, we're gonna cover all of this later but two different timelines that you can work on. You're going to be working on the practice one, and then here is my one. So if we go in our timeline and we click up here in the timeline, or take this blue bar and move it to the start, and then press the space bar, this is what you should see. Phil being written on the screen. That's what we're going to do with your own name right now. Cool? Okay, so all you have to do is click over to the name practice and then click this icon up here, the pen tool. Everything should be set up. So you should see right here next to fill, it should have this red slash. Stroke should be this blue and then it should say 10 pixels, which is the stroke width. The goal with this quick little project is to create something cool that's animated that you can share on social media. That's why we have this square composition, which is 1000 by 1000 pixels. I've already set it up for you. Again, we're going to cover how we do this in a future lesson. To use the pen tool and to write your name, basically what you're going to do is just start clicking within the composition and draw your name. You're not going to click and drag, but you're going to click and then let go, and then click, and then let go. So for example, for, for fill, I started with the bottom of the P, so I clicked and dragged a little bit to create a curve, and then I clicked and dragged to curve, then I clicked and dragged to create more of a curve, and then I clicked down here, then I clicked up here. So you're gonna have to think about how you're going to write your name because it all has to be connected. So sorry, if you have an I in your name like me, you're not going to be able to dot your eyes. So, sorry third grade teacher, we're not going to be dotting our eyes in this one. So, notice how I created this and when I click off of it, we've created this shape layer down here and that's what we're creating, a shape layer. It's basically a line. Now, if I want to undo this, I can either delete it or what I want to do is turn this off really quickly. So you can practice this with your own name, but I'm gonna turn this off and show you what happens when I'm not clicking and dragging. So if you just click, and then click, and then click, then click, then click, what happens is you create a line, but it's just a square without any sort of curves. It's just right angles. And that might be fine for you if you want that style, but if you want curves, you have to kind of click and drag. So just play around with it. I'm going to delete this shape layer too by selecting it and pressing the delete key on my keyboard. And then I'm going to turn back on this name layer with that little eyeball button. Okay, so now we have our name, but it's not animated. So follow exactly what I'm going to do after you have written out your name. Click this drop down button right here. Click add, this little button next to add. Click Trim Paths. Make sure that the timeline marker is at the very beginning, at zero seconds. Drop down this menu next to Trim Paths. Click the 100% next to End and type zero and press Return on your keyboard. 
and then click this little stopwatch next to end. Then go to four seconds. So drag your timeline indicator to four seconds. Click the zero next to end and type in 100. And then press return on your keyboard or enter. Now, if you press the space bar, it will play through this composition and your name should animate on the screen. If you wanna change the color of your name with this layer selected, so the shape layer one, click the stroke color, so the color next to stroke, and then when this color picker pops up, you can change your color to really anything you want. Okay, and then click OK. So now you have your name animated within After Effects. Pretty cool, right? This is just the beginning of what you can do in After Effects. If you wanna export this so that you can post it to social media right away, go to the export section of this course and watch that very first lecture, which is how you basically export an H.264 QuickTime version of any project and then that will be great for posting online. And if you do, make sure you tag me at Phil Ebener and at Video School Online. All right, I know you are probably confused. You're probably like, Phil, I don't know about this. You went a little bit too quickly, but don't worry. We're going to back up. We're going to learn about the workspace. We're gonna learn about how you create projects and compositions. We're gonna learn about layers and everything in the next sections of this course but I hope that this was a fun lesson to show you the power of what you can easily do in After Effects. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.